is Kara from the Kara Experience. Well, my experience, my experiment failed on my cabinets where I was going to do the uh, the uh, paper towel, not paper towel, <laughs> the um, trash bag, the paper trash bag thing on my. It just the color didn't come out, and I didn't really like it. Uh, I mean, it was gonna look okay, but it was just the uh, the color I picked. It just didn't look right. So um, I'm gonna do a, something just a little bit different. I'm gonna do a crackle finish on here, or chippy finish, and it's gonna be uh, this color but with black underneath it, and uh, hopefully this one will turn out. And uh, I thought y'all might want to know about the situation with my son, my oldest son. He, We went to court yesterday, which would have been the 11th, that way y'all know the date. And uh, it was done on a, on a screen, it was a uh, family court where I couldn't see him, he couldn't see me, but we could hear each other over an intercom. And uh, they asked me if I knew anybody that could pay or help pay his bill to get him out. He had the money in the bank, but the way that the magistrate up here said his bail was somebody actually physically had to go in with cash and pay a thousand dollars to bail him out because his bail was ten thousand dollars and I looked at him I said sir I don't have that kind of money and all his family's in Texas and he said well do you mind if we talk to the magistrate and see if we can lower his bail to where he can get himself out because he just wants to split he wants to get his stuff and and go I said no I, I don't mind you know, I want to keep up the order of protection for a year, but I, d I don't mind. And uh, so he said, okay. And so we go in there, and they get Michael on the, uh, the uh, intercom. And before she asks anything, and it breaks my heart. Like I said, guys, I love my children. I love my children more than I love myself. I'd take a bullet for either any either of one of them. And um, he goes, is my mama okay? All I want to know if, is if my mama's okay. And she looks over at me and I said, she goes, yes, he's okay. She's okay. And um, he goes, tell her I am so sorry for what I've done to her. But it wasn't really, he, he didn't really do it to me. He did it to my, to my husband. But I guess he means me because I had to go through all of it again. And I started kind of, you know, but it was quietly that way nobody could hear it. And my husband was rubbing my back saying, stop, stop. I couldn't stop. Well, at the end of it, um... Everything you know, she asked if um, if we still wanted the the protection thing. I said yes, because if not, he would move back in my house, and I couldn't get him out. I love him, but I cannot live with him. I don't want anything bad to happen to my son. I want him to get married, have a million children, but I don't want him to live with me. I can't live with him. My husband cannot live with him because we do. For some reason or another, we do more harm for him than, than than help for him because he uses us as a crutch. Oh, I can't do this. Be it, it's difficult. So on our way out, he goes, uh, Judge such and such, I can't remember what her name was. He goes, tell my mama I love her. And she goes, well, you can tell her, you can tell her, Michael, yourself. She can hear you. He goes, Mama, I love you. And I and I'm out telling. She goes, you can tell him you can hear you. I said, Michael, I love you too. And he goes, I am so sorry, Mama. I said, I understand. I, if I would have said I forgive you or 
it, you know, it's no problem. Everything would have been back to the same. And I don't want that for him or me. So, uh, on the 17th, we got to go back because something, my husband got served papers about him, so I don't know. And I'll let you guys know if you're interested, let me know. I mean, this is horrible. Especially for us mamas that love our babies. It's horrible. <laughs> so, now from the sappy, sappy stuff, <laughs> let's get, I'm going to try this, but I haven't ever done this. I've just seen it. And we're going to do like a little four by four piece on here. And let's see where this is pointing right here. Let me go down just a wee bit with you. Okay, let's hope. I'm going to do it with two hands. And let's hope it don't. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah, right, all right, yeah, right there. All right, and let's hope that this don't, um, let's hope that this works. I'm going to get this all over me. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Last night, I got into the bathtub because I really needed to relax myself. I have fibromyalgia, and my my um, nerves and my um, and everything will kind of seize up on me when I'm having an attack. I got in there and I thought I'm just gonna rest in some good hot water and just lay here. Well, I told my husband, I said, do not leave the living room. If I holler at you, you come in here and get me. I was in there for a good 30 minutes. Yeah, and I got ready to get out. I couldn't get out. And my husband, if you've ever seen honey, he's probably 130 pounds soaking wet. And I'm not a small little girl. <laughs> God bless me with plumpness. Well, he tried to help me get out. And I started crying and panicking because I couldn't get out. And I and I was in my head, I was going, oh no, the firemen are going to have to come up here and get me out of my bathtub. And they're going to have to see me naked. And then I started panicking more and I started crying. I can't get out of the bathtub. <laughs> I was bawling. I was panicking so bad I thought my heart was going to explode out of my chest. I mean, it was horrible. I mean, just horrible. All my uh, muscles were just were 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 just tight as could be. I couldn't move. That's <laughs> because turn around towards the wall, put your hands up there, and let me put my arms around underneath your uh, arms. And help you sit on the side of the bathtub. But since you can't do it, you're too small. <laughs> finally, finally together we got my big old butt on the side of the bathtub. <laughs> and I got out. I didn't even dry off. I took all my towels and went to my bedroom and laid on the bed and cried. Cried, 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 and cried. He goes, honey, you're fine. He goes, I love you just the way you are. So, but it was embarrassing. I can't even get out of the bathtub. I'm so fat. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Here comes the honey. Hi, honey. Say hi. You can say hi. Don't just do this. Say hi. You got. <laughs> he's doing that. Say hi. No, you got. <laughs> Say hi. I love you too. All right, let's get back to this. Okay, we're just gonna put a little sample area here. Oh, come on. So, I've had a very, <laughs> I told you, bad week and a half, two weeks. Okay, let's get this kind of thin. That way it won't take too long to dry, y'all.
Okay. What I'm going to do to help it dry just a little bit, maybe just a little bit loud. Oops. Crap, I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> Okay. I got my heat gun here. I just not that loud. Yeah, I've had one heck of a week, guys. You wouldn't believe it. It's been almost two weeks. Let me tell you about my dog here in just a minute, too. Usually I'm a black and gray and a kind of a darker color person, but I'm really, really, really wanting to brighten my life up a little bit. And hopefully this will. tell y'all about my dog. We were supposed to have him fixed today. He's uh, seven years old. He'll be eight in, uh, next April. And he's he's a, he's a uh, full-blooded uh, dash hound or dachshund. And uh, his, his mama won seven, I uh, oh, no, seven, <laughs> He's seven years old. His mama won 36 uh, dog awards, or, you know, uh, any, uh, awards. I mean, so he comes from a long lineage. I have paperwork to show, I think it's like five generations from him. From him. So, yeah, it's, sorry about the light, it's kind of going in and out. Uh, so, so he's he comes from a long line of, you know, big time winners and uh, my husband got him for me for my birthday and uh, but him and my husband have this little thing they kind of love each other a little bit well uh, we had everything set up and uh, it's a free clinic he already got his shots from him his uh, part in distemper well they were going to give him his um, uh, rabies shot and fix him today and they told us to be there at eight o'clock so uh, my husband set his alarm clock I couldn't go to sleep I went to uh, I went to sleep at six o'clock I thought all right if I get up at seven I'll have plenty of time to get there because it's only 30 minutes away I got I woke up I was like man I had a good night's sleep because I don't sleep good I woke up, looked at my clock. I started screaming, throwing on my uh, shorts, put, putting on a shirt. And, well, I mean, I ran into the living room. I, sit, I was screaming at, at honey, Where, what are we doing? It's 10 o'clock. We were supposed to get him fixed. And he kind of snickered. He goes, I had a panic attack about it. I didn't want to get him fixed. 
So I texted the lady. I said, you know, I told her what happened. She goes, sorry, once you bail, you can't get it. You can't get him fixed now. Thanks a lot. He goes, well, I'm glad he didn't need to be fixed anyway. I'm going to strangle you. <laughs> I told you. I've had a really bad two weeks. <laughs> okay. Now what we're going to do, and then I don't know, we're going to put hairspray on it. So I just got Aquanet from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to put three separate um, squirts on it. Heavy. Okay, now we got to let this dry. I don't know how we're gonna. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to let let it dry like this or, or what. Dogs, thank you. Big old Rottweilers. But I have a Chihuahua and a Ducks, and so of course you're gonna thank the Rottweilers. It's almost dry, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off here for just a second and see what they're barking at. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, my name is Kyra. I'm from the Kyra Experience, and I hope everybody's doing well. I promised y'all that I would, oh, I'm getting hot. I fog up my glasses when I get hot. And no, I'm not an angel. I wish I was. This is not a halo. <laughs> I need light in here. <laughs> but uh, I promised y'all that I would do a um, a video today. And I'm not going to let you down. Even though I felt so crappy today. I didn't sleep at all last night. And I don't think I'm going to sleep at all today. Because we're going to go back to trial tomorrow. Yeah. I need another prayer, y'all. <laughs> Prayers do work, and they're at my heart, and I love y'all, and I know y'all will pray for me. So, I am going to show y'all, I did most of the, the countertop here, and I'm going to show y'all how I'm doing it, and then I'll show y'all how, how I finish, or I'll tell y'all how I'm going to finish it, but I'll, I'll give that a few days, and then... I'll show y'all. Surprise! <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna lower ourselves down and bring y'all around here so you can see it. Uh, see, this is all I have left. Just this little bit here. And what we do here is I just, I pre-crumble. <laughs> yeah, I pre-crumble them. And uh, it's a lot easier. And the way I was doing it before was I was I was putting my my glue and my paint together and then I was just squishing it all together and making a big glue paint squished up paper mess and it and it wasn't doing good for me. It, it was just oops, I got oh, poopy. I can throw that one away. It was just, it was just making a, a mess, and I had to throw away half my paper. I mean, it's not expensive. It's just trash bags from the Dollar Tree, but still, you know, you don't want to waste it. Plus, I've got another cabinet over there I've got to do eventually. <laughs> this one's taking me too long. Uh, 
maybe when my nerves calm down and God gets to working with me. Ouch. Crumble again. And what I do, I found a little bit quicker way. Okay, just paper. And what I'm gonna do, here's my my uh, glue, is I'm just gonna take some on my hand right here. I'm gonna just wipe it on the paper. You can dunk it in the paper if you want to, but I found this is a lot quicker and a lot easier to do it here like this, all right? And you put them every which way. Don't put them all straight one way because it makes a more interesting palette. And it's a lot prettier. And then you'll notice here on the back of my oh, sorry, cabinet right here. See it? <laughs> it's because that's when I just started doing this. Like like the way you're gonna hear my puppy Boris, my my uh Dachshund. Um, he's afraid of thunder and it's thunder and lightning outside because it's about to rain and he's going to start freaking out. So I apologize. <laughs> if he gets on your nerves, I do apologize. And you can lay it on the table or your countertop and do this too, but you got to make sure you feel it up good. And make sure that, that your corners and stuff are out. Because they'll get stuck underneath it, and it don't make for a pretty pips, pretty picture. See, you can lay it down like this, too, like right here, like this too, and just kind of straighten it out, like that right there. Hey, what are you doing? Horse. He's doing. I save these. If you can save some really nice straight pieces, they're good for the like right here and the you know the sides and stuff. That's what they're good for. <laughs> like I said, I I like to do it the easy way. Baby, it's okay. And what I'm going to do to the back, to the sides, oops, and to this side right here, I'm going to paint it black. And then around, let me show you, the drawers right, right here inside of this area right here, right here, I'm going to paint them uh, bright turquoise as well. And if you see a piece that's popped up just a little bit, just kind of, I'm so sorry guys, he won't shut up either, he's like a, he's like a daggum elephant, where are you, I don't see him anywhere, I don't know if he's in his bed whining or wanting to be in his bed, Boris, I can't find you. And lap them over, y'all. Make sure you lap your um, your paper over on your other paper as much as possible. Or not as much as possible, but to where, you know... There we go. See how I'm doing that? Are you close enough, y'all? I can make you close. There we go. He wants up there with you. It's thundering. My husband's trying to nap.
Did he finally, finally get up there? Yeah, and it was Okay, he finally get up there. And so after I dab this blue, I'm going to let it dry for 24 hours. And that's why I'll have to make another video for this, and I apologize. Because after I dab it blue, I'll let it dry for 24 hours, and then I'm going to put uh, some polyurethane on it. That way, you know, if something wet gets spilled on it, it won't um, go through and mess up my my beautiful artwork, <laughs> darling. <laughs> That's hard for me to say. I'm Southern and darling, don't, yeah, darling. <laughs> it just don't, it don't go right. Okay, I guess that'll work right there. And you mix up your glue. A lot of people say three to one ratio. I do mine two to one ratio because I like it a little bit thicker. But you can do it to your own specifications. I've done it before where it's just plain old glue. And it's just school glue. It don't have to be Elmer's glue. It can be Dollar Tree glue. It can be Dollar Store glue. It can be whatever glue you want it to be. Sometimes it kind of clings to you. See how easy this is? Uh, until you do the wrong. Until you get too much glue on your hands and it wants to stick. If you want to do this while you're listening to music, <laughs> you can do it while you're listening to music. If you want to do it while you're listening to the TV, you can do it while you're listening to the TV. It don't matter. And I don't think I even put any glue on that, did I? Nope. Yeah, you just kind of do it like that right there. Okay. Well, this one looks like it's made specially for this one. Let's move the. Oops. What do you think? All right. Yeah. So what do y'all like to do for relaxation? I like to watch movies. I used to read a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And y'all don't have to worry about getting the wrinkles out of this. Because um, the wrinkles... Let me pull you back a little bit where you can see it. The, most of the, uh, the wrinkles will be in there no matter what. But you can, uh, the wrinkles, or it'll lay down, is what I'm trying to say. Now let's see, that's too tiny. We're almost through with this part, guys. Here. 
I used to like to do a lot of things, but the more sore my back got, the less stuff I like to do. And that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. And you know what's funny is I don't, they have where I'm at one Goodwill store and it's horrible and the prices are horribly expensive and they don't have duty there. And so far I haven't seen any yard sales at all. This is almost like doing a, a, uh, what do you call it, a crossword, not a crossword puzzle, but, uh, yeah, a puzzle piece thingy, whatever you call them. But I'm going to finish this up right here, and then in the next couple of days, I'll finish all of it up. Where you can see what it really looks like when it's finished. But I wanted to show you how this works. Because I promised y'all I would. And I am not a liar. I hope y'all like this. I really do because I've worked really, really hard on this. Anyway, now you do need to get those out. See, I had so much glue already on this thing that I almost had to put nothing on here. My arm's going numb. That's the only thing about this is that your arms will hurt afterwards. And when you go to ripping it, rip it kind of like that. See how it wants to turn inward? Do not let it do that. Yeah, I'll probably put a new one, another new one out Saturday. What's today? Today is Tuesday. Yeah, that'll give me time to get over the stupid court thing and get this sucker done. But if I get it done before, I'll definitely put it up before. See, if you even have little bitty pieces that gloves are too big. <laughs> if you have little pieces that, that you don't get, get covered. Okay, guys, hang on. Let me take my gloves off here. That's the great thing about rubber gloves. Okay, let me show you what we did here. What do y'all think? And this is some of what I kind of did. But it's going to look a lot better, trust me. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for subscribing. God loves you so, so, so much. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I will see you the next time we're on here. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful friends. Just after that little, I think it was 12... 13 minutes that I did in that chair in that video oh, let me fix my glasses I feel 
like I'm going to melt in my bed. It hurts so bad. <laughs> There's no reason to cry. Nobody's going to hear me. <laughs> I have nobody but y'all. Again, just pray for me. I have no insurance. <laughs> My husband just got on disability because uh, about a year and a half ago because his lungs. He uh, passed out uh, on our front balcony. And um, they said if his oxygen level was any lower, he would have died. And uh, they put him in a chamber to see what his lung capacity was. And they said it couldn't be any lower. So he can't uh, absorb oxygen. And the doctor told him, he goes, I will, I will never write a permit for you to go back to work. And um, so he sent, he sent message to the VA. He goes, he can't go back to work. And so all he gets is 20% on the VA. And he gets uh, Social Security. I get nothing. I have no insurance. I we had insu I had insurance at his last job and I lay here in pain all the time and I pray to God that that taking so many ibuprofen don't ruin my liver. But what are you gonna do? <laughs> Except for pray. Prayer always works. I just wanted y'all to know, you know. Everybody that has a smile, you know, is not always smiling because they're, you know, some of them are in extreme pain. But I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.